Hey guys, it's Greg from East Coast Dyes, and today I've got the Monday mashup for you. Uh, it's been a really exciting week in gear and lacrosse, so we've got a ton to talk about, and I uh, love making this segment. So first, I want to start out by uh, telling you guys that uh, I really appreciate everything that you've done for us. Um, we took over 200 orders this weekend, which is just crazy, and a lot of our success is directly attributed to you guys, uh, the fans, telling your friends, buying the mesh. Uh, really spreading the word because that's how this this company and this brand and this mesh has grown is from you guys telling your friends and telling everybody about it so I cannot thank you enough for helping us out with that I really appreciate it and that's why we have giveaways every Sunday to do a little uh, little fan give back and fan appreciation so uh, from the bottom of my heart thank you guys for everything that you have done uh, speaking of giveaways right now we're giving away uh, this TLN hat on Sunday Funday pretty sweet so check out that video uh, it's just a couple videos ago. Uh, also, we just hit 10,000 likes on Facebook, which is a huge milestone, uh, one that I never thought we'd quite get to, which is awesome. Uh, so make sure to go like our Facebook page. There's a link down in the description. We will be having a big giveaway um, in the coming days, so make sure to get on that. I know a lot of you don't have Facebook, and uh, you're not allowed to. Maybe you're too young. Maybe your parents won't let you. That's why we have uh, giveaways on YouTube, so expect another one this Sunday. Also on YouTube, uh, we are about... Uh, 900 subscribers away from 15,000, which I consider a pretty big benchmark, and there will be a big giveaway for that as well. And finally, uh, we are well over 5,000 followers on Instagram, uh, so probably tomorrow there will be a giveaway on Instagram. Uh, just follow us there, East Coast Dies, all one word, just search it, and there will be a giveaway there. So tons of giveaways going on, and of course we appreciate everything you guys do for us. So yesterday we had our first practice for men's league. We play on a team called Hindered Ford. It's just a local team. They play uh, spring, fall, and uh, you know all the seasons for the men's league. Uh, it's for postgraduate, and it's a uh, it's a whole lot of fun. So yesterday we had a practice. Uh, I was out in the rain and the mud a little bit, but it was still a lot of fun. Uh, so I figured I'd show you guys a little bit of the gear that we have. So these are from last year. Uh, these are the shorts we had. So you can see our team is uh, Hinder Ford, and so we just do. Uh, just a plain white and blue look, really classy, really simple, uh, not too many crazy graphics. These are some Under Armour shorts, and they've got, you might not be able to catch it on camera, but they've got a really cool uh, design on them that you can see when it hits the light. And then uh, we also got shooting shirts that say Hinder Ford on them. Um, I was number three, so uh, that was my number. Didn't really pick it, but. And uh, for this year, we went with uh, some black shorts, so they just have Hinder forward on the side there, and just plain black mesh shorts, and finally uh, some pretty cool hoodies that say Hinder forward on them. Uh, so pretty excited for these, and uh, really excited to start playing. Um, and speaking of hoodies, we might have some East Coast Dice hoodies coming, which might be kind of cool. Um, so the stick I was using was uh, this one, the one I mostly use in the rain, uh, the dirt, the mud on the grass, just because I only really want to get one stick really dirty. You can see it's all all muddy on there. Um, it's on my Insignia 2.0 from One Lacrosse, uh, which I like for the rain because it has a little bit of a rubberized grip and uh, so my hands don't slide at all in the rain, which is a problem I had with uh, alloy shafts. I always used um, like scandiums and uh, titaniums in college and high school and when it would rain it would get super slick and almost unusable. So this has a really nice rubberized grip, grip that makes it perfect for uh, for the rain. It's just a Lakota with <clears throat> my usual pattern. Uh, one thing I've been working on is tape jobs. I've never been very good at taping sticks and it kind of always, you know, kind of deterred me from taping my own sticks because uh, I was never very good at it. So this stick doesn't need a lot of tape. So you can see it's just a little here and just a little here, but I'm trying to get the, the wrap nice and even. So if you guys have any tips for me, uh, ways to get really good tape jobs, this one turned out pretty good and nice and even. Uh, what I actually used was uh, some hockey tape, so it's only, it's not a full inch thick, I think it's three quarters or half an inch wide, uh, which I kind of like more. And I put this together to coach with the other day, just for fun, and put it up on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and everywhere, and I uh, took some heat, but I had this, uh, this one lacrosse American flag shaft you had all seen, and I put my Volt Lakota on it, uh, so it was a really, really loud looking stick, and uh, i coaching everybody, wanted to check it out, but I'm going to put a white Lakota on it with um, maybe a cool little die and uh, some custom East Coast mesh. So that'll be cool. So look for that to uh, to be coming up soon. So some more cool lacrosse stuff hit the web from the last week. Uh, we had 
uh, the Maverick video. They just made a new commercial, and I really like their commercial. Uh, it features Chris Bocklet, and I was a big fan of it. It kind of gets away from all the flash and gimmick that's usually associated with lacrosse gear uh, that some other companies have, and uh, just got down to working hard and had a really good message for young kids that are going to play lacrosse. Uh, that are coming up playing lacrosse, and I think it was, uh, you know, a lot of Black All Stars motto is grow the game, and I think this was a great way uh, to grow the game and a really good reflection on the lacrosse community as a whole. Uh, so every time I watch that commercial, it gets me a little jacked up. So uh, if you haven't checked it out, I'll put the link on the screen. Definitely check it out. It is an awesome commercial and a must see. Uh, also, John Grant Jr. put up a stick trick video. Uh, John Grant Jr. is known for having some of the craziest highlights in the NLL and the MLL. His highlight video of the MLL is just crazy. Uh, his stick trick video was awesome. Probably one of the best lacrosse stick trick videos I've ever seen. He's got a couple things that I might want to try but probably can't execute. Uh, one where he throws a frisbee or somebody else throws a frisbee up in the air and he skeet shoots it right out of the air twice in a row. Uh, it was pretty impressive. And definitely check that out as well. So definitely see the Maverick commercial and the John Graham Jr. highlights. Uh, another little interesting tidbit is um, Paul Rabel. Uh, Paul Rabel got a Polk Audio sponsorship, which is really cool. He's already a Red Bull sponsored athlete, so it's cool to see uh, some non lacrosse companies getting in on sponsorship with uh, lacrosse athletes. Paul Rabel kind of is a DJ. I know he does some DJ gigs around Baltimore and some other places, uh, and they had a quick video about it. So I thought it was really cool to see a big company like Polk Audio that's not athletics related, not lacrosse related, uh, get in and sponsor a lacrosse athlete. Um, so also, the new episode of Club Ball is out. Another awesome one. If you guys don't know, it's the series on the lacrosse network that follows the Red Hot Buffs. And it is really cool and really well made. Link will be on this page. That you can uh, Link will be on the screen. You can check it out. It is really good. Um, so this weekend, on Saturday night, uh, there were some... NLL games going on and I was just hanging out and so Samir and Colin were having a Google Hangout. Uh, they were just live streaming while they watched the game. Um, it was the Swarm versus the Rush and it, uh, it was a really fun game to watch so I was just hanging out chatting in the thing and they invited me. Uh, so we spent about two hours live chatting, answering fans questions and just goofing around. Had a little stick trick video or a uh, little stick trick competition at halftime. Uh, so that was really fun if you guys tuned into that. Uh, let me know how you liked it. I'd love to chat with them more often. So if you think uh, you'd like to see me on their channel a little bit more, um, go ahead and let them know. Give them a comment. Because I had a lot of fun doing it, and I really love watching these NLL games on the lacrosse network. So there was a lot of great NCAA D1 lacrosse action, but obviously the big biggest game was Loyola versus Maryland. And this is one I didn't get to watch live because I had to coach right when the game was happening. Uh, but DVR'd it and tried to stay off Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook so I wouldn't get any spoilers. Uh, I did. People couldn't help themselves, and they uh, they posted it. So I saw the score before I watched the game, but I still uh, watched the game, and it was an awesome game. It lived up to everything I thought it would be. Uh, it was number one versus number two, rematch of last year's NCAA championship, and it really was a great game. It was fast-paced. It was high-scoring and uh, really exciting. In the end, Maryland came out with the win, 12-10. to So uh, they're making a, another great run this year. Uh, I really like the way the game played. I think the new rules are going extremely well. Um, I think the 30-second shot clock with the stall at the discretion of the referees has been great. The quick whistles have been great. Uh, the extended box has been great. I think a lot of the rules are playing exactly how they wanted them to and is really making the game faster. Um, I don't know if the string rules are having too much of an effect, but overall, I really like the way the game looks and it's a lot faster and you don't see it slowed down nearly as much. Uh, there were a couple 30-second stall infractions, uh, so it's good to see that in play and working and uh, really forcing the offense to push the ball and take a shot. Uh, so one of the big headlines before this game was the uniforms they would be wearing. So Maryland released their Black Ops uniforms, uh, which will be in the gear montage a little bit later. And they were absolutely awesome. Uh, the football team had done the same thing, and they looked great. Sometimes the Maryland flag can get a little played out uh, when you put it in its full color all over everything like they've had in the past. But when you do it with gray and black or white and gray, or some more subtle colors, it ends up looking really nice. Under Armour really hooked it up with some custom gear, some really custom gloves, custom highlight cleats. Uh, Loyola also busted out some custom uniforms for this game. They had a star on the sleeve to commemorate their NCAA championship. And uh, we're a little more plain, but overall it was a really cool game for gear um, as well. So uh, it was an awesome game. Really enjoyed watching it. I noticed a lot of the... Um, 
can't think of it. A lot of the uh, a lot of the Maryland players were using uh, their Under Armour gear and their Under Armour heads, uh, which I was a little surprised by. I thought a lot of guys would want to stick with their STX heads, their superpowers, and their surgeons, but it seemed like almost everyone was using Under Armour heads. And I have a few Under Armour heads actually over here, and they I really like them. I think they've done a good job. I didn't like a lot of the original heads, but I like a lot of the heads uh, that they have out now. All right, so there's also a lot of custom gear drop for the NCAA this last week. Uh, of course, the biggest was the Maryland Black Ops uniforms that featured custom gloves, custom highlights, um, and custom uniforms. But there was also some other really exciting stuff. Uh, Cornell dropped some new helmets that had decals done by head wraps, and a lot of the times they have a little bit more conservative equipment. Um, all white gloves, all red gloves, same exact gloves as last year. But it's nice to see them to bring out a, uh, a little flashier of a helmet. Duke and Princeton both had new Warrior helmets dropped. Both were really custom, uh, featuring more hydro hydrographic action. Uh, the Duke ones have that carbon fiber look in white and gray, which is really nice. And uh, the Princeton one set of Princeton helmet has uh, orange chin with orange that comes a little bit up the face mask and a little bit up the shell uh, with an orange stripe down the middle that fades out, which is really nice. And the other one is matte black with gloss black tiger stripes. And I posted it on Facebook, and people didn't seem that excited about it. I think it's probably one of the coolest custom helmets I've ever seen. And I think Warrior is really doing a great job with custom helmets. This is really uh, the, the year of the custom helmets. Uh, in the last year, six months, custom helmets have really come a long way from having two-tone face masks, uh, matte and gloss combinations, all kinds of different color mats. Um, hydrographics on the warrior helmets, um, different stripes and fades. So it's come a really long way. Um, and there's also a bunch of other gear, so you guys can check it out in the montage. And I'd really love to hear uh, what your favorite gear is. I would say mine is probably the white and orange Princeton helmets. So uh, let me know what your guys' favorite gear is. So now we have the recap of the videos you might have missed. Uh, so we have the Maverick 1 20mm NCAA legal stringing. Uh, the Maverick 1 was a head I really like stringing. And definitely should check out if you guys have a, uh, a Maverick Spider 1. Sorry. If you guys have a spider. Uh, another video people really liked was the Winter Wednesday video. Uh, where we did see how many shots it takes us all to get a ball in the corner. So if you haven't seen that, definitely check it out. Also did a mid pocket for the Nike Lakota that a lot of people have liked. Um, a head-to-head -head comparison of the Surgeon 10 and the Evo Pro X6. Um, and finally, or second to last, a live stringing of the Nike Lakota that a lot of people like the song for. And uh, finally, Sunday Funday, we're giving away that TLN snapback. Uh, so anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure, make sure to check out the, um, the stringing database down below. I take all the videos and categorize them by head. So if you have a specific head, you can just go there, click the tab, and it'll show you all my videos about that head. So it's a really cool tool that, uh, that people really like. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it if you like this video. A lot of work does go into it. And uh, have a great day, guys.